I wanted to share with you a project that we're starting today on this nice sunny day. One of the uh, home energy improvement uh, tasks that I need to do is um, add more insulation to the bedroom that's next to the garage. And right now there's roughly five inches of cellulose up there. And I don't like cellulose, so I'm going to vacuum it out with my homemade blown cellulose vacuum system. I've used this before at an older house that I lived at. It's a one horsepower dust collection system from Grizzly that I just uh, hook up to some corrugated piping. This is from Home Depot and it's um, it's not the perforated kind of course. This is what people tend to use for downspouts and stuff. Anyway, when I did it the first time, I sewed up bags that I uh, strapped to the discharge side and I sewed them out of um, old sheets that I got from somebody and that worked pretty good but it it was time consuming you had to make them of course and then you had to um, monitor them because they would kind of fill up at the front and you'd have to pound them and, and, and then the cellulose would move to the back So this time I, I knew how much I had so I took my garden trailer and I turned it into a um, dumpster I guess you could say. So it's lined with plastic hopefully that makes it easier to empty. And then I've got a couple bed sheets stretched over the top to be my um, filter I guess. The air will pass through and not too much dust will come out. So I'm going to... Uh, fire it up here and I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I'm vacuuming upstairs. So this is why you need to remove this interior uh, baffling here. Um, it doesn't support any bearings. It's just to keep bigger chunks from going in, which is good, but I'm not going to have any big sticks. It's just a soft cellulose that's kind of clumpy from damage from water. So I'm going to cut that out right now. You can see how it's collected in front, bigger chunks that were water damaged collected. So. I'm going to grab um, either a Dremel or a hacksaw and I'm going to cut those out. There we go. Cut this out. Here's a look inside. I've only just fired it up. You can see that it's working pretty good so far.